my much older sister's vampire blood burning in this candle and on the candle. It both smells rancid, like it's high in iron content, but it also feels like it's addictive. Like I can breathe it in and I feel like there's a certain high to it. It uh, might feed into my theory of there being a blood realm uh, where a blotyar or a king of sacrifice might reign over. And that in this realm, everything is permeated with blood, the air, the ground, the trees, the animals, the people. And all the blood spilt in battle or war, or many, not all, but many, that wasn't dedicated to something else or wasn't protected by something else, might permeate a blood realm. One that when you walk in, you feel this getting high just by smelling, just by breathing in. And... When people kill each other or people um, draw blood from one another, um, it's it's more like you're a part of a mesh than it being you being separate from the realm. Everything red, everything intoxicating as you breathe in this realm. I've had visions of a similar of yeah, I've had visions of this realm, but you know I I can't really say if it's the exact realm that my theory is on, but I've had visions of a similar realm. And that realm of the Blood King is a realm of intoxication and a realm of forgetfulness. Because you're in this intoxication of this being able to feed on blood just by breathing in, but then you forget who you are, what, you're, what you want to do, and it becomes just your existence to be in this realm and to experience this realm rather than really having an understanding of why you're there or what you're going towards. It's an interesting realm for sure. It's, uh, I've, a lot of the visions that I have are painful. Um, this is one of them. It's more of like a confusion though. It's a realm of confusion and intoxication realm that I'm talking about it's it's something beyond the material for sure um, it doesn't make sense physically or environmentally but I will say that this blood realm I'm talking about somehow for the first time when breathing in the fumes of my much 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 older vampires vampire sisters blood breathing in that those fumes burning that definitely feels like that realm that I'm talking about. Like it's high in iron content, it doesn't smell good, but somehow it's very intoxicating. Uh, a lot of people say, you know, if you interact with a vampire's blood, you might turn into a vampire, or you might uh, get a taste for it or something like that. I'm not really sure if that's true, but I will say that it's a, a strange feeling to have her blood in the air and she would never try to hurt me, but also this is an experiment. So we, I don't, she doesn't, I don't, and nobody really knows what's gonna happen with a ritual like this. So no matter what you do or who you are, be careful with your rituals. And I will say that this intoxication is quite wonderful. And whether that's a good or a bad thing is yet to be seen. I'll talk to all of you in the future.